welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa on YouTube and Instagram. And today I have an exciting video for us, a fashionistas, because I am back at you with another haul. This one's more on the smaller side of things. I have about five things to show you. But the reason why this is so exciting is because I picked out these clothing items from Montreal. Now, if you have seen my latest vlogs with my boyfriend, we had a cute little getaway in Montreal and I love that city so much, so I will link those vlogs down below. But while I was there, I decided to do a bit of shopping on this certain street. I believe it's called like Boulevard Saint Laurent. It's sort of near where the famous Schwartz's Deli is. But down that street, they have a bunch of really nice shops. And the reason why these shops are great is because they are more like boutique style shops. So they are a little bit more pricey. But the great thing about this is, is that a lot of the pieces are like one of a kind or they only make a certain amount. And once they're gone, they're gone. So I have a little vintage find in there as well. But these are more boutique pieces and they're just a few summer outfits that I happened to pick up on my most recent trip to Montreal. So if you'd like to see what I bought, just keep watching. So I think I'll probably start out with my most favorite store and this is definitely the most expensive piece so everything just gets more inexpensive from this point on. And now this store is called Kuka and I really like it because it is so cute and unique to Montreal. And I always love these high-waisted pants. I got these in a size large and they are $45. They're called belted leaf print pants. And I think that it came in a set, but at the time I just didn't find the top that came with it. They're actually straight-legged, high-waisted pants with this paper bag waist. And I think that is so cute. I'm always getting wide-legged pants, but this time these are straight. So I think that they should look pretty good on. Um, they also have this really nice like tie belt thing that's like built in so you don't have to worry about it falling all over the place So it's just at the front to tie into a nice bow And I just find that to be very flattering and forgiving on my body personally because I know that my trouble area is more in my stomach So it's nice when there's like something there to sort of help you hide whatever you need to hide really This sort of like a leafy print vibe going on and I really like these sort of pastel colors There's some baby blues and purples and the pants are white so I thought this was so cute and very on trend for summer. So usually at this store, I'm always getting really beautiful dresses. I've gotten a dress that I've worn even to a wedding once. They have great dresses for pretty reasonable prices, around the same price as these pants really, maybe more or less. So they do have some great dresses, but this time around, I honestly didn't see them there. Maybe it was just when I happened to go, but I do usually love this store and I'm happy that I picked out these pants because I think they're so nice for the summer times. This store is called I see, I see, I believe it says. And yes, it's on Saint Laurent in Montreal. It's obviously a really long street, but again, these stores are all sort of relatively close to the Schwartz's. And I picked up this really cute jumpsuit. This was originally $50, which seems like a bit much to be honest, but it was on sale for $25, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. This jumpsuit is in a size medium. It's actually probably going to be more like a culotte style jumpsuit because I can already tell that the legs are quite short, which is super cute actually. Love a nice culotte jumpsuit for the summertime. So these obviously won't hit your ankle, but they'll go a little bit above that as well. They'll probably look really nice with heels or wedges, what have you. So this is a cute summer look. It's a floral print, surprise, surprise. <laughs> this was one of the cutest and most inexpensive pieces at that specific store, so I liked it. They had these little birds on them. Again, a very nice color palette, and I really did like the green that goes down the side. This looks like a nice jumpsuit for the summertime. It is a spaghetti strap, of course. You can't alter the strap, so just where they are, they are. You can't like pull them higher or lower, but I feel like this should be a pretty good fit on me. And yeah, I just really like this piece. There's a little tie string around the waist area so you can tie it into a little bow. And I just thought it was very nice. I do like lighter clothes for the summertime, as you can tell, so I couldn't resist. And for $25, that was a pretty good deal. Next, I couldn't resist this top. This top is a little bit more pricey than I would normally pay for just a regular top, but I couldn't resist. This is called Boutique Yang with a Y and they had some really nice pieces. This is the receipt here. So this top was actually a $35 and this is in a size medium. This beautiful yellow crop top and it has these little quarter sleeve, bell sleeve details. 
there's this tie going from the top to the bottom area so you'll just have to tie it up tight to not be too revealing and I thought that this was so pretty there's these little frilly detailings on the chest area basically so on the front of the top it's open so it will be a nice v-neck i thought this was a, such a beautiful piece and i love the shade of yellow it's such a warm summery yellow it's not quite pastel and it's not quite mustard it's sort of like a true yellow color i love it for the summertime and i could just picture it with high-waisted pants and i think it will look beautiful okay so the next piece i actually got the um tag but on the receipt it says the actual store name so the store name is called la petite garçon but the cute thing about this is it says la famille and they're showing all different kinds of stores in Old Montreal as well. Le Petit Garçon, Boudoir, 1861. I feel like they're all like a brand of boutique stores that sort of carry similar items. So that's pretty cool. Um, I bought this really pretty top and I paid $20 for this and I thought that was a pretty good price. I'm going to have to actually lace this through because I never tried this on or did this up yet. But you can clearly um, do up the front part so similar to the yellow top that I bought at another store This has happened to be a similar style But this is a really pretty lace detailing and it also has that bell sleeve look that seems to be going all the way down So it won't be a quarter sleeve. It will be a long sleeve bell sleeve top and it's really pretty The lace detailing is super nice and it's not completely lace So there is like that nude underneath so it won't be too revealing and I just really thought this top was so beautiful the price was actually pretty decent considering it was on sale really looking for some nice elegant crop tops to wear out and I thought that these were perfect they look so cute with high-waisted pants or with a high-waisted skirt I thought that this was such a pretty top and a very great find yes, I've never really bought many things from vintage shops before but I think that I will be sort of experimenting more in the vintage clothing department because it's pretty cool so this was called boutique Lao B and it's on Saint Laurent as well and there's actually the directions here <laughs> I made sure to take this because otherwise I would not have remembered the name now you'll probably be seeing these I modified this so I'm just going to insert the clip of me trying this dress on without these modifications it fits me perfectly but I'm modifying the shoulder pads so I'm gonna cut them out I'm gonna cut out this modesty thing I guess right yeah definitely for sure though oh, do a little 360 let's see very nice I like it. Minus those uh, football shoulder pads. I think my mom would have worn this in like the 80s. Yeah, strictly late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> As you can see, the dress is just a little bit outdated. It had that crazy bib detailing on the chest area and these huge shoulder pads. I actually ended up cutting out the bib, which was super easy. I just went along the seam and just cut it out. I didn't have to do any sewing or anything. These shoulder pads were super easy to snip out. I also had the after in Montreal, but of course I will just include myself wearing it again. So a little modification, I cut out that part right in the middle, it was like a little bit, and I took out a lot of the shoulder pads, so there's just like a tiny little poof, but I think this is so cute and it honestly fits me like a glove. It does. And it said size 6 on it and it came with this super cute belt which I actually really love you could of course replace this with any belt but I thought it looked so cute and I love the height of this it was like a longer dress so it was a little bit more on the sophisticated side and cutting out that bib it should sit very nicely on this area you just zip it up in the back and it has these cute shoulders again they have like that a little bit of a poof but without the shoulder pads they look much better it's just like a t-shirt style dress and I feel like the pattern on it is like a really nice classy and elegant floral print the thing that's nice about vintage clothing is that you can tell that the material is so thick and it's made a very well so this is the kind of dress that will last of course you have to give this a good wash before you wear it but I think that it is such a cool and unique find and you definitely won't be seeing anyone wearing this dress anytime soon especially since I actually modified it to fit my needs so I really like this find and it's probably one of my most favorite finds of the whole trip and I paid this 
$20. So for a dress like that, I thought that was a steal. I hope you guys like these sort of travel style videos where I show you things that I happen to buy on vacation. This was from my most recent trip to Montreal that I took with my boyfriend. I will link those vlogs down below because they are so cute and it gives you a great idea of the city, especially old Montreal, which has such a beautiful European vibe. So I tried to show you guys not just five different outfits that I bought, but also five different stores that you can check out if you happen to go to Montreal as well. Let me know what your favorite outfit was that I happened to get or your favorite clothing item piece. I think mine was probably that vintage dress just for the sheer fact that I feel like it was such a rare find. And I think I did a pretty good job at transforming it and making it look a lot more to my style afterwards and it just happened to fit me like a glove which was also exciting. So guys, thank you so much for watching this little Montreal boutique shopping haul and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys like these kind of haul videos and I will definitely have more to come in the future. But until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys and thanks for watching.